Maggie, well, hanging high above the museum's new entrance, which I can see over here, is a special piece of artwork that was created for the museum by a local San Jose artist. And uh, museum curator Colleen Voidovich introduces us to Tony May. He's not only an artist, but he's an art professor at San Jose State. And Tony May will be creating an installation in the lobby of the new edition. Uh, it, is a, it will be a, an installation which refers to the history of the building. It will incorporate library books. Many people in San Jose remember uh, the San Jose Museum of Art in an earlier life as a library. I think that most curators of contemporary art share my view that uh, unlike curators that deal in historic material, we have the privilege of having the opportunity in many instances to meet and work with the artists whose work our museums show. This particular piece was one that was sort of cooking in the back of my mind for a long time because um, I like to use uh, puns in my work. And I had, had realized at some point that, that a, a piece made with books called a bookmobile was a rather good idea in, in, a, in a bad sort of way. You know, uh, bad, bad pun, probably. And, uh, and so in my memory, this building was, of course, always the library. It's kind of an indeterminate structure. In a way, it's almost like a, you could say it's like a toy. Having the controls on the, on the piece from which the, the different books are elevated uh, come out of the windows of the old building uh, seemed like a, a good thought. I mean, I, was, I wasn't sure where, where I was going to operate it from originally, and then I realized I could, I could operate it from the old building. So it, it seems to work for me fairly well to, to link the old building with the new building. So the, the books are designed so that they can be uh, each individually raised or lowered. Um, and uh, in so doing, the, the network of uh, pipes that connects them changes shape. And that's really what you notice in the space. So I was sort of doing this piece in a way, I designed it to sort of pay homage to the, the standard sort of Calder mobile that a lot of museums have hanging in their lobbies.